I got a song for you. Oh Lord, you're beautiful. Your face is all I seek. And when your eyes are on this child, your grace abounds to me. You ever uh, sing and preach to nature? The birds, the ducks, <laughs> says preach the gospel to all creation. I want to share with you a word about one of the commandments. I can't tell you which one it is, but I will say it. And it says, uh, do not take the Lord's name in vain. A lot of people think it's saying swear words or using God's name as a cuss word. I think that could be applied to it. But truly taking God's name in vain is actually much bigger than that. And I was praying about this, Lord, one day, and I said, God, like, what does it mean to take your name in vain? Like, and, and I think the Holy Spirit reminded me of this. When a marriage happens, the woman usually takes the man's name. Now, if the man is a man of great status or stature, woman may be honored to take his name and be called so-and-so because of his status and stature. Now, God has a great name, the name Jesus Christ. To call yourself a Christian is to take the name of God. And to call yourself a Christian and not become Christ-like is to take his name in vain. You are taking his name for vanity's sake. You're taking his name for what it does for you. Not for what you're doing for him. <sighs> now I know that we take the name of Christ. And Christ is what he does so much for us. But to take his name and call yourself by him. By his name. To call yourself a Christian. And not have it totally transform your life so that you become Christ-like is to take his name in vain. Look at that, I just took you on the walk to my prayer, to my prayer closet. How about that, eh? This is Canada up here. We got lots of room apparently. Anyways, I want to encourage you to take the name of the Lord in vain is to call yourself by his name, but to not let it change your life. And I mean completely. Are you living in the joy of the Lord? Do people around you know that you're a Christian because of the way that you walk and talk? Are you breathing, eating, and sleeping the Word of God and making it real in your life? Are you calling out to the Lord and blessing your neighbor? Is love your priority? To love one another? Is love your priority to break through to the lost? Are you taking his name in vain, body of Christ? Are you a Christian? Like a real one? Or are you just saying you are because you need the title to get to heaven? That ain't salvation, body of Christ. God bless you. And uh, yeah, stay in the word, stay in the word of God. Uh, peace to you. This is Sunday morning from Smithers Town. God bless you guys. Have an amazing day. Good peace to you.